been saying recently that I want to get back into doing some more adventure style vlogs and a little bit more daily vlogging. And for, for any new endeavor, it's very important that you have a strong foundation stronger than this. Today I'm fixing this problem. And hey, maybe you uh, hit that like button on this video. Super, super helpful. And, and hit subscribe. I'm going to be doing a whole vlog revamp from top to bottom. I'm going to totally change my vlog setup. This is the one I've had for five, six years, six years, I think. Five years, because this went on our honeymoon to Europe. We did a 21 day honeymoon. And this is the exact rig that I walked around with. We walked around all of Europe. I know, I'm very sorry, Morgan. But I walked around like this all through Europe. And because this has gone all over Europe and, and Thailand and Bali and everything, this, this Gorillapod is so, it's so beat and tattered. The, the rubber on the legs, it's falling off. It's all over the table. The table's covered in it. Time for something new. And up until now, up until a few weeks ago, I thought this was the best tool for the job. Even with its shortcomings, I thought it's still the best that's out there. I'm gonna clean the table now. It's covered in Gorilla Pod rubber. Oh, and it left black marks on the table too. Come on. That's why I'm getting rid of that thing. Okay, so a few weeks ago, I got I got this guy, the Polar Pro Apex from, from Polar Pro. <laughs> And it was awesome. I made a whole separate video on this and their system. And I had a lot of good things to say, but one, one very bad thing. And it was that although it's a very great sturdy tripod, this flippy head does nothing for me because I can't, if I'm holding it like this, the camera can just tilt. So it's really for photography, not so much for videography, uh, very much a photography ball head, but they do make another model. This is the Apex base, and basically it's it's the same tripod with those super sturdy legs and the locks, but get out of there. Check that out. It just has a plate on top with a 3 8 inch mount, so I can put any ball head on top of this. And that's that's what I'm gonna be checking out today. I'm gonna be seeing if this can replace my Gorilla Pod because I think it can. But it feels like it would be an entirely unfair comparison to compare this brand new one to my, my old raggedy one. So I got my hands on a brand new Gorillapod 5K kit. And this is what we're gonna compare it against today. One of these new tripods is going to be our new vlogging rig tripod. So let's really look at the Gorillapod first, and, and first let's go over some pros and cons of the, the classic Gorillapod. The number one pro with the Gorillapod is that these legs are, are super bendy. They can bend in any position, and the nice thing with that is that you could wrap it around a railing, or you could just kind of hang it on a chair. I could, I could take basically anything, and if I bend the legs just right, have a pretty decent little setup to film something quickly. And then when you're done, the legs are all mangled, and then you spend 10 minutes, you know, straightening them back out, trying to get them decently nice to uh, get back to that position. And when this thing is brand new, right out of the box like it is right now, this can support six pounds on top of it, which is a, a decent sized rig. This is definitely not a six pound rig. This is... This is the Sony a7R II. I'll also be upgrading with the 16 to 35 lens on there and the Rode VideoMic Pro, and it weighs 2.15 pounds. So not very heavy at all, easily held up by a tripod that can hold six pounds. And then another pro of it is that while it can be a tripod, you can also squeeze those three legs together and hold it out and it, it works like a selfie stick, very Casey Neistat-esque. And in general, the ball head that's on top of here is pretty good. It has one big knob that that ball head can move all around. It can go into a vertical position, which is nice. And then when that's locked up, there's another small one and the entire head is a 360 pan on there. So for a small head, this is actually a, a pretty good tripod. I've always really liked the head, the ball head, and then the legs, again, pros and cons. Because the cons are that 
While it might hold six pounds at first when you first get it and it, it just feels really strong, later on down the road, those legs get, they get really weak. They, they wear in and those joints wear out to where sometimes you'll have your camera set up and it'll just start leaning on a leg and then, and then it just, it just falls over. And then even in selfie mode, again, when it's, when it's a bit older of a tripod and you try to grab it by one leg, it, it definitely doesn't work. So you do need to squeeze all three legs together to get into that kind of vloggy selfie mode. And then you gotta stretch all three legs back out to get back into that mode. Oh man, there is rubber everywhere. This thing needs to go in the trash. Okay, now let's go to the Apex Base Edition, but I'm gonna take the Joby ball head off of this guy and we're gonna put it onto the Apex. So this is now the Joby Gorillapod head, but on the Apex legs. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, pros for this tripod. Again, just like my last video, there's three unlocking knobs here for the tilt lock. Tilt locks, there's little gears in there so it can go to a bunch of different positions. So if you have like a crazy, ridiculous, unlevel surface, you just unlock these, get it decently level, and then boom, lock them back in place like that. And then boom, I have a, a solid tripod in a wonky area or wonky landscape. And then finally with this Joby tripod, I'll just unscrew that and I can level up my camera perfectly level. And the benefit here of going with the Apex is that this has a 25 pound load capacity. So again, over here, six pounds, it can hold over here, 25 pounds. I could put like a, a big cinema camera on this thing, no problem. Most large tripods, like a, a decent large tripod holds about 20 pounds. So to see a little guy like this, a little player holding 25 pounds is, is a bit absurd. I like that there's numbers on the legs because I, I'm a little anal and I like to get all the legs straight again. And another pro of this system is that because that's aluminum, those aluminum legs are on there, each leg is super strong. So if I had it set up like this, and let's say I get it into kind of this position with one leg forward like that, I could be talking to camera like this, doing a, a tripod setup piece, and then just pick it up and walk away. I don't have to collapse the legs every time. I could walk from one spot to the next and then put it down, do a, a quick adjustment to make sure that my framing is right, and then start talking to camera again. Because see, it's not, it's not wider than I am, so it's not like if I went through a doorway or anything, those two legs being out would hit anything. I would just walk around like that and then, and then pop it back down. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then again, because that Joby tripod head is on top, it means that with one quick screw, I can move all around this way. I've got that vertical position that I can go into, so I can go into that, that portrait mode position for photography. I pop it back up. I can even lean it forward to do to go like this. And then it also has a 360 pan, so I can unscrew this bottom piece, and now I can do a nice panning shot. And when I'm done with that, I always want the lens to be over one of the legs to give it the most stability. So that's, that's kind of where it wants to lean on. And because that leg is out front, again, I can just pick it up and start walking around with it. This is a, uh, this is a pretty sweet setup. And for the cons on this rig, again, no, it doesn't bend around things. I can't take it and hang it from a tree and wrap it around a limb. But to be honest, I, I don't do that very often on the Gorillapod. It's pretty rare that I've ever wrapped it around something and then got in front of the camera just because it doesn't hold on very well. You, you dump your camera. So I don't risk it a ton with this anyways. I mainly just use it to go from handheld mode to tripod mode and then put it on something to, to film us. And with this over here, again, it's gonna go from tripod mode to handheld mode, but I don't have to squeeze those legs together and it can adjust to any sort of environment that it's in. And then the only other con of this is that it doesn't, it doesn't get very tall. It's about, it's about four inches shorter than the Joby. So this is its max height right here. The legs don't extend, nothing extends. It's, it's just that height. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. So with all that said, between the Apex and the Gorillapod for now, I'm gonna be using the Apex by Polar Pro, the base model, but with the Joby's head. So kind of a mashup 
of these two to create this. And I like it. It feels really good. It feels great that I can grab it by, by just the one leg to be able to move around and then be able to pop it back down and just that one knob to adjust frame. And yeah, that feels good. Let me know what you guys think though. I'm gonna be upgrading this entire kit top to bottom. So new camera this year, a new microphone, but you guys already know which one that is. It's the Rode VideoMic NTG. I also switched back over to the Osmo Action from the GoPro and I'm gonna be getting a new drone this year as well. A lot of upgrades this year. So subscribe, stay tuned for all those videos, and maybe maybe you go to the first link in the description and buy a t-shirt and help support me buying all of that stuff. You guys are the best, and I will see you soon with my new vlogging rig. Bye. Bruschetta? Wine. Wife. Pantheon. This is a dream.